Welcome back to the tour of the lifts and the escalators at the Into Merry Hill Shopping Centre. Now we were here last week but we could not manage to get into all of the shops and neither to fill most of the lifts because they were busy and some were out of action. First, we're going to start on the retail park, which is located at the top end of Merry Hill, where there is a couple of shops to go in. The first store we visit used to be known as Texas Home Care. It later became Kingdom of Leather, which was a furniture shop, independent. Then it became Next Clearance, then Next Home until Next Home moved into the new Next uh, in the centre in 2018 and the shop is now a branch of Perry Bar based furniture company NCF Living but unfortunately NCF Living does not have a lift because the shop is only on one floor. The next shop also used to be part of Texas Home Care it later became the office superstore chain Staples and then Staples closed down in 2013 and is now become a branch of Ren Kitchens. But unfortunately, Ren Kitchens does not have any lifts. It is really typical that um, not many of the shops here have lifts. And most of them are only on one floor. There's only a couple on this area that has upstairs compared to the ones in the centre area. Oh dear. Anyway... The next shop we come to used to be Olympus Sports. It later changed to Decathlon, but Decathlon closed in 2010 to move to Junction 9 of the M6 in Wensbury near Ikea. And they used to have a really nice old Phoenix platform lift. And now the shop has been converted into two. So the first half is Oak Furniture Land. And Oak Furniture Land, well just doesn't have a very interesting lift. It only just has a boring Gartec lift, a lift that's been put together. And of course, the lift gets the floor numbering wrong. It's ground and one rather than ground and mezzanine floor. Typical platform lifts do not want to get the floor numbering correct, which is very, very annoying. And now to the other half of Decathlon, which was converted. This one is Harvey's and Benson's for Beds. But however, following the coronavirus pandemic, Harvey's had entered administration and Harvey's are closing all their stores down. But however, Benson's for Beds will be staying open. And the lift here is a Phoenix platform lift. And of course, it's a lot better. But however, it gets the floor numbering incorrect. It calls it ground and one when it should be ground and mezzanine. Like I say, typical platform lifts having to confuse the floor numbering system. Anyway, let's ride it. Lift going up. Lift going up. Alright, this is the lift at Harvey's. It's Mary Hill. Um, it's a Phoenix lift. Um, Yeah, first floor, let's get that down. Let's go down. Let's get that down. For the last time. Well, this here used to be Decathlon. We used to have a weird platform lift, but this platform lift for Harvey. I'm going to really miss this bit. Really am. Quite slow. Sign indicators is open. Oh, here on the ground for Harvey's. Ground floor. And that's it. The next shop used to be PC World. However, PC World merged with Curry's in 2010. The shop later became an electrical clearance store. But then the electrical clearance store closed down a few years later. And as of 2013... The unit is now occupied by the range. Now, the range 
um, here has added an upper floor. It has some cone escalators and also a horizon generic lift. And it gets the floor numbering incorrect. Ground and one when it should be ground and mezzanine. And the interesting thing is only that it has the same voice as the Piccadilly line on the London Underground. These are the escalators at the Rain Store in Maryhill. And unlike the Kidderminster one, these are Kona. Also going to include the lift. Same video. Now they have a non-existent floor. First floor. The shop gets the floor number in incorrect. Ground and one, rather than ground and mezzanine. Anyway, here is the lift with single two speed. It's Horizon Generic Lift. The range now tends to use generic lifts now. Here it is. Anyway, uh, capacity 1000 kilograms, 13 persons, year built, installed 2013, go to 1. This lift has the same voice as the London Underground Piccadilly line. This lift is going up. Alright. Lovely lighting, this is a horizon. First floor. First floor. Doors opening. Ground. Doors closing. This lift is going down. COVID-19, because we're still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Ground floor. And that's it. Now, into Curry's PC World. This store used to be known as Curry's on its own and O Natural Interiors. And then it was converted as Curry's and PC World. And Curry's and PC World only has one floor, so there is no lift in here at all. Which is very disappointing because there aren't many lifts on this area. The next shop used to be Miller Brothers, which was a second-hand electrical shop. It then changed to Empire Direct, then Lee Longlands. And now it's occupied by Home Bargains, but however the shop's on one floor, so there is no lifts or escalators in this shop. The next shop is Pets at Home, and Pets at Home does not have a lift, as Pets at Home is only on one floor. The next shop is vacant these days. It used to be known as Mother Care, and Mother Care went into administration last year, and all their stores closed down. And Mother Care used to have a really nice old Hammond and Champness, and it was modernised by Stana, and it got the floor numbering correct. It was called Ground and Mezzanine. And of course, the lift used to be a tree, then it changed to a rocket, then it changed to a normal lift. And that Hammond and Champness lift was a classic old lift with all good old fixtures. So, sadly to see this shop uh, now closed, I'm sure someone will take over. But I'm sure, as you probably know, the lift was dated. So, I bet that will get modernised, which is going to be a real shame for most lift enthusiasts. The next shop used to be Comet Electricals. It is now a branch of DFS. And DFS does not have a lift as it's only on one floor. And real shame that there aren't many shops on this part that does not have any lifts at all. The next shop we come to used to be Allied Carpets and Powerhouse. 
it is now converted into home sense and home sense well is only on one floor so there is no lifts or escalators in here at all and of course neither for the rest of this retail part the former car phone warehouse does not have a lift neither does costa coffee frankie and benny's american golf mcdonald's and kfc and the interesting thing where frankie and benny's and american golf is used to be the spot for the boulevard monorail station which was where the old monorail system used to link up with the Merry Hill Centre. The next unit we come to used to be known as MFI and Right Price Tiles. MFI went into administration in 2008. It was replaced by Best Buy in 2010, but however, it closed down in 2012. The unit later became Kiddy Care, which was part of Morrison's, but closed down in 2014, replaced by Ultimate Outdoors the following year, and now as of 2020, the shop closed down and has been vacant ever since. The next shop we come to used to be known as B&Q. It later changed to Toys R Us in 2006, but then Toys R Us in 2018 went into administration, but later on, before Christmas 2018, it was replaced by B&M Bargains. And B&M does not have a lift as it's only on one floor. And also the garden centre is back outside the shop next door to that. Used to be known as the car showroom, Dayu. Then it became a furniture shop and then it became Maplin. But at the same year as Toys R Us, Maplin closed down and they've been empty ever since. So there's nothing... Uh, like what's going to be replacing the Maplin store just yet and uh, it's really weird to see Maplin still empty and no one occupying the unit as because most of the shops have been shut down not been taken over because of this coronavirus pandemic so I'm sure someone will approach to take on the empty units like the Ultimate Outdoors, the Maplin and the Mother Care unit which have been both empty for quite um, a while now and hope that someone will take over uh, the the units very soon and will make uh, Mary Hill one of the best successfuls of all time which is very uh, disappointing and like like the area where we are now where BNM is uh, is where the bus station is where all the buses come and go from um, to where they need to like access the Merry Hill from various different areas and of course B&M it is um, a big unit anyway um, <laughs> need to carry on now the next shop we come to is Carpet Right which has been at Merry Hill for an awful long time and Carpet Right does not have a lift as it is only on one floor the next shop we come to is Halfords which used to have a mezzanine floor but no lift and the mezzanine floor was removed due to health and safety and the shop is only on one floor because the mezzanine floor was where the bikes are and uh, Halfords, uh, well, no lift here at all. The next shop we come to used to be the Jolly Giant. It then changed to JJB Sports until 2012. They used to have a mezzanine with an old platform lift and now the branch is Iceland and since they have taken over, the mezzanine was removed and the lift was scrapped. Anyway, Iceland's only on one floor. Now to the other half of JJB Sports, which is now occupied by Hobbycraft. And Hobbycraft is only on one floor. And of course, as you probably might know, most of the rest of the shops on this area are all on one floor. And I did forget to mention at the top, Pizza Hut is also on one floor. The next shop we come to used to be known as Home Zone and also there was a soft play located next door. The shop is now a branch of Matalan and Matalan is only on one floor so there is no lifts or escalators in this shop at all. So anyway this brings the end to part one tour the lifts and the escalators at the Into Merry Hill. Don't forget to join me later for part two as I explore the rest of the shopping centre. So anyway, Matalan is also located close to the bus station. It is on the bus area, so it's easy for people to get on and off the bus. So see me later for part two.